Netflix has failed fans of The Witcher. They have hired people who don't care about the source material and have thrown their star actor away, thinking their series could survive without him, and it can't. But of course, now Netflix is practically giving the millions of Henry Cavill fans that gave this series a chance the finger because they have confirmed season 5 is in the works, meaning they don't even care about what people have to say about season 4 in Cavill's departure. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. Now, I have had to talk about Netflix's Witcher a lot on this channel. The first season was pretty good, even though it wasn't very consistent with the source material timeline-wise, but it at least was enjoyable. As a fan of all of the Witcher works that came before it, I thought it was at least acceptable, but then you got to season two and it got very messy very quickly. It's like they tried to make very small changes from the source material, but ended up making them giant and and they didn't do a good job, right? It's not like it felt like The Witcher, but of course the star players were very good actors. I think all of the main casting is very good. Uh, we have Henry Cavill as Geralt, the women who play Yennefer and Ciri are fantastic. Yaskier's actor is also great. And unfortunately, uh, as a fan of The Witcher, I will not be watching something like a season four after Henry Cavill departs. It is a shame that they are losing him. He is a major reason why people even tolerate this show after all of the source material changes, but now we are finding out that Netflix has actually officially renewed it for a fifth season, meaning they don't even care about the feedback they would get from season four after Henry Cavill has passed the torch to Liam Hemsworth and he becomes Geralt. Uh, they don't even care about our feedback. They're basically giving millions of Cavill fans the finger. It says this news was confirmed by the casting director, Sophie Holland, who is also working on the likes of The Continental, Heads of State, and the Beetlejuice sequel. She revealed to Variety, we're just about to start filming on season four with Liam, and there will be a short gap, then we go straight into season five. Now, I honestly did not think they were going to do a season four five for this. I thought that they were going to end it after four, even though they originally confirmed years ago they were planning to do five. I figured they would look at all the backlash and look at what will most likely be the fallen ratings going from three to four and go, you know what? We're just going to end it. We're going to plan for the worst. But it doesn't seem that that is going to happen. It seems like they are so confident in this product and for absolutely no reason. I have had to roast Netflix and the Witcher team time and time again because we have seen people like the showrunner uh, say that they had problems with Henry Cavill on set. There were rumors circulating that she actually hated him because he was a Witcher Bible on set as he has been described by his co-stars. He cared about making sure that, you know, timelines matched up at least half decently. He cared about adding different lines of dialogue that were from the books into the show and, you know, changing scenes around a little bit to make it feel more authentic. I mean, he is the only reason why this show so far has done pretty good and losing him is a massive loss. I just don't see a way that they can continue this. It says the upcoming third season of The Witcher, which makes it part one, uh, premiere this June, will be Cavill's last ride as Geralt before he is replaced by Liam Hemsworth. It didn't matter who they replaced him with, it was never going to work, and it was also very bad for them to announce Hemsworth was going to replace him at the same time as announcing Cavill was leaving, so I definitely think it added more fuel to the fire, but there have been petitions online to bring Cavill back and to even fire some of the writers and the creative team behind the scenes who thought that the show could survive after this. I believe that petition has over 300,000 
thousand signatures right now and a lot of those people i think are going to boycott season four i'm going to watch season three to support cavill but after that i'm tapping out and of course netflix is you know not doing good with witcher overall they tried blood origin which was a massive failure and we have heard that uh, they are doing another spin-off but we don't have a lot of solid information on that i just think that netflix's witcher all around it's it's trash unfortunately and to make it even worse we're actually hearing rumors that in season three they are going to be making a major shift with some of the established characters because in season three yaskir will be confirmed as bisexual and actually put him in a relationship uh i don't think that this is the right move either while i love yaskir while i think that this actor has done a pretty good job with him and we have gotten some absolutely fantastic songs throughout the show i don't want to see this i don't care about this especially knowing that the whole series is falling apart around him and of course uh you know i i doubt that it will be a natural thing i doubt that it will actually uh, feel like wow this this actually kind of makes sense i bet it's going to be extremely forced but it doesn't really matter because season three is going to face backlash no matter what they do uh, this is the official season three teaser that they had released about a month ago 3.2 million views so quite a bit 69,000 likes to 334,000 dislikes i love henry cavill as an actor I love the Witcher source material. I've got all the books behind me. I've played the games multiple times. Absolutely love this universe, but I don't see a way that Netflix can save it at this point, and I, I don't even care if they could at this point, simply because they've given us the finger many, many times. They really hate Cavill, it seems like, which is sad, and it is a shame. It doesn't seem like they care about us as people who put time and effort and have been waiting years for them to release this content. And unfortunately, it does just seem like they're, they're steamrolling ahead. They don't care about feedback. Netflix has officially renewed The Witcher for a fifth season, and I think that it is going to fail, just like I think season four will fail. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.